Put your hands together, celebrate Jesus. You can add a shout of praise to it. It's all about Jesus tonight.
church. Everybody say, oh. Oh, oh, oh. We're crying out, oh. Yeah. One more time. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate the living word. Wherever you are, just open up your mouth and begin to bless him. Just bless him. Come on, let, let, him, let him hear your voice tonight. <laughs> He's been giving a name above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. Tonight we've come to bow before him.
case you came here looking for a miracle. Oh, you never saw. Oh, your trans to Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, we have a present help in terms of Father. Oh, team of God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
Somebody clap your hands on to Jesus and give the Lord a better shout of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord a better dance. Yes. Yeah. Everybody. Shake your body. Yeah. Everybody say no.
another and today God is taking us to another level of glory you would experience Jesus in a special way tonight in the mighty name of Jesus we're going to take our offerings the Bible tells us in the book of Acts that an angel appeared to Cornelius and the angel told Cornelius that his prayers and his giving have ascended to God and that is why the angel was sent to visit Cornelius I believe that as you give your offering angels are going to be dispatched to you in the name of Jesus Whatever you are believing God for, angels are being released to send them to you in the mighty name of Jesus. So quickly, I want you to reach into your purses, your wallets, your pockets. Take out a good offering, an offering that will provoke open heavens over your life. 
an offering that will bring blessings into your life. An offering, a good, a worthy offering that will cause the heavens to respond to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to take out our offerings and then we'll take our declaration. Hallelujah. If you are ready with your offering, I want you to say after me. Say, this is my offering. I give it willingly and cheerfully. By faith, I receive God's grace, sufficiency, and abundance in all things. In Jesus' name, amen. The ushers, for the God team, will direct you to take your offering, amen. Sorrow. 
Ladies and gentlemen, for the Experience Conference 2024, let us welcome Efe Grace. Talk. 
Just a church. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, Namie, oh, Namie, 
I can tell you, those of you that are watching us on Facebook, on Instagram, those of you that are watching on YouTube, I know without a, sh a shadow of doubt that you are not left out. I'm receiving test messages, receiving messages from people who are saying that even yesterday they had healings and testimonies in their rooms. And so we know that it is a proper experience. And Jesus is not limited by time nor space. So wherever you are, the Lord is going to meet you at your point of need. We are super excited that today we have my brother and friend, Apostle Joshua Ofori, is in the house. Apostle Joshua, please. Apostle Joshua, come on, celebrate him more from the rest house. Chapel, Apostle Joshua Ofori. We have Pastor Kwame Menukri, of course. When you hear that clap, you know that Pastor Kwame... Also, Kwame Manukoi has a very unique clap. When he claps, I believe that the devil runs for cover. We have also Kwesi Oting. Pastor Kwesi Oting is in the house. We have Apostle Moses Benison in the house from Family Altar. Oh, come on now. Great to have you. I have Apostle Chate in the house. Apostle is in the house. Of course, then we have the Makers House pastors. We also have Osofu Obed from Kumasi, Osofu Joe Beche from Kumasi, Prophet Cosmos. Then we have our own. We have the Makers House people. Come on, celebrate the Makers House people. Of course, the Evergreen Bishop Grace that Lisu is in the house. All the way from Kenya. I mean, it's amazing to have a amen. Amen. How many of you are ready for what God wants to do? I'm super excited to have my wife in the house as well. An amazing woman of God. I mean, sometimes I go places to preach and the people will walk to me and say, we follow your wife. And I ask them, why don't you follow me? I say, no, but we follow your wife. We say, okay. So they follow my wife, they don't follow me. They don't, they don't like me that much, but we love you. You're, you're amazing, amen. Thank you for being what, who you are and doing what you do. Can you hold somebody's hand? I, I was asking my brother whether he was going to minister to people. He said, all kinds of crazy things are gonna happen. He says, I, I know you are. You, you wanna pray to God. The Lord Jesus, I want to have an experience of you. It's a very simple prayer. We are not looking for any showmanship. We are looking for you. We want to have an encounter with you. We want to walk out of this place knowing that we had an encounter with Jesus. That the Lord showed up. That the Lord transformed our lives. That the Lord brought us to the place of rest. Would you lift your voice just for a few seconds and pray that Lord pass me on, oh gentle Savior. Tonight hear my humble cry. I pray that you touch my life. I pray that you transform my life. I pray the Father, you'll bring me a visitation. I'll oh, come on, lift your voice wherever you are. I begin to pray that prayer. Lift your voice. Lift your voice and pray. I want to have an encounter with you. Hallelujah. Pray for the hand you are holding. The Lord, do not pass her by. Do not pass it by. Let there be an encounter. Let there be a visitation. Speak a word. Bring direction. Bring clarity. Bring healing. Bring deliverance. Bring redemption. To these hands I'm holding, bring a fresh anointing. Bring a fresh release of grace. Let it happen, oh God. Let it flow, oh God. I want your voice to be lifted because that prayer is for you. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. I want you to pray as never been before. Let your voice be lifted. 
lift it up. Come on, let your voice. My only believe is Sayadada. Come on, let your voice. Rapa la Padima Solis. Rahosta la Vadesta. Ispala Makoliadas. Rados. Hallelujah. And Father, we say we are ready. And Father, we say, have your way. Amen. Father, we say that we are ready. Amen. And Father, we say, have your way. Amen. What of an encounter with you, Lord Jesus, Amen. as never before. Amen. In the name of the one who rules, reigns, and has regency, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. After the video introduction, you're going to hear from a prophetic voice. Um, is a brother I love so dearly. I've known him for many years. For many, many years. In fact, when I started going to Kenya. So for a very long time, through Apostle Martin Suna, that was the first time I heard of him. And then once we, once we connected, there had been no turning back. We, an amazing spirit. An amazing man. A lover of God and God's kingdom. A man that God has given the grace and the ability to speak prophetically to nations, to people, to kings, to leaders, to potentates. My fervent prayer tonight is that there will be a word from the throne room of grace for you. And my fervent prayer is that you are going to walk out of this place knowing that you had an encounter, an experience. The voice you will hear after the video, please take your seats. After the video introduction, will be none other than the prophet of God, Prophet Dioni. The founding pastor of H2O Church in Philadelphia, USA, Dr. Dioni Bias, is an international speaker, writer, lecturer, spiritual leader, and advisor to presidents and governments. He's the definition of determination, having overcome adversities, including racism and discrimination, growing up after immigrating from Venezuela to the United States at the age of 14. He began his ministry with speaking assignments on campuses across the United States where he gave talks on overcoming limitations. Today, Dr. Bias travels around the world, responding to critical situations that affect the development of humanity in the social, economic, and spiritual spheres, bringing peace, hope, and comfort to many with his words. A best-selling author of books, including How to Win Your Worst Battle, Dr. Bias has written over 40 books and manuals in both English and Spanish. He is also a music producer and TV producer. He currently lives between Philadelphia and Miami with his wife, Yaraset, son, Shaddai, and daughter, Salome. With thunderous applause, receive the ministry of Dr. Dioni Bias to Experience 2024. spirit I feel there are some prophetic voices tonight in this place people that are ready to be dimensioned in the spirit I just don't know where to start first should I start prophesying on this side they sound ready oh, oh they sound ready How are we doing on this side? Oh no, I'm definitely starting over here. Somebody's taking it by force over here. I am so excited to be home. It took me a few years to be home, but I'm home. Praise the Lord. 
please clap your hands for the visionary, my brother. I love you so much. His wife, this amazing family. I'm excited because this is my atmosphere. Oh yeah. So I feel like a fish in the water. God is gonna do amazing things this night. Oh yeah, I feel it in the spirit. So I glorify Jesus today for everything he is about to do. I believe in the spirit of God that these days are going to align the divine and prophetic agenda, heavenly calendar into this nation and the continent of Africa. We are about to define the next 30 years of this nation. I just feel it in the spirit. And all I need is two or three to stand with me and believe it. I know they are here, they are here, they are here tonight. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout it again, hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost now. Come on now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. God is here. God is here. God is here. God is here. Rebatota. Miracles are breaking through right now. I see angels that are moving around this place right now. Yes, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Raise your hands and say, have your way, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Can I have some monitors, please? Just raise your hands just for a second. The glory of God is here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for the Lord God of mine. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, the glory is here. The glory is here. Hallelujah. Sing it again. Hallelujah. Come on, sing it out. Oh. Jesus right now hallelujah Hall oh my god angels are moving all around this place come on oh come on come on come on I hear God speak I hear God speak he's saying I am sending angels right now to your home 
God is sending angels right now to your business. Come on, somebody. You are about to have breakthrough. When you go back to work tomorrow, there's a breakthrough waiting for you. My God, the glory of God, the glory of God, the glory of God is here. Come on, come on, come on. I told my brother, I came ready. Are you ready to see God moving? Anything can happen. I said anything can happen. Somebody is drawing the anointing on this side. My God, this man here, raise your hands. You, come on, praying Holy Ghost. There's an angel next to you. There's an angel moving next to you. Oh my God, I see an army of angels right now. There are armies of angels that are about to be deployed tonight. There's a place, I hear a place in the spirit. I actually see it in the spirit right now. Kwabenja, Kwabenja, something like Kwabenja. What is this? Huh? That's where I stay. That's where you stay. Come closer. Come, pro come on, somebody pray in the Holy Ghost. God is here. God is here. God is here right now. Somebody pray in the Holy Ghost right now. I said there are angels that are going to move on your behalf. The Holy Spirit is telling me if my people believe. When you go back home, you're going to find signs and wonders in your house. Come on, push in the spirit. Hey! Come on, push in the spirit. Those that you left sick at home, they're about to be healed right now. At this very moment. Jesus, raise your hands. Woo. Hallelujah. What is this like a town? Like, a, what? What is this? What I, that I'm here, what, what? What is? What does that mean? It's, it's an area just here. It's an area. Is this where you live? Stand right here. Oh my, oh mighty, where these. Come on, close your eyes and say, you are holy. Oh, I see the glory of God covering. This whole city is being covered by the glory of God. the Holy Ghost I dare you oh my Shemaya. I don't I don't have any monitors guys can I have some monitors oh I see a woman in the spirit oh the God is sending angels to when I count to three this is what this is what I want you to do I want you to 
align yourself with the prophetic anointing that is here tonight and you're going to send angels to wherever they need to be yes there it is are you following me are you ready the Bible says that angels are ministering spirits to those that are an heir of salvation. Are there any heirs tonight? Let me hear you if you're here tonight. Oh my God, the glory of God is moving. The glory of God is moving. Oh, the glory of God is moving. There, there's a person with cancer. Cancer that is going to be healed tonight. Come on, clap your hands. Hey! Cancer. I just saw a tall angel standing right here God says I'm gonna move with miraculous power to the supernatural I believe who I see in my spirit is your mother where is your mother ah huh? she's home ah kata rabrama sandaya What was John Baptist's mother? What was, what was her name? Huh? For some reason, I, I, just, I just kept feeling this in my spirit. What is your mother's name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Do me a favor, raise your hands. God says, I'm going to cancel the spirit of death this year 2024 I want to prophesy over someone today this is not gonna be the year that you're gonna bury your loved ones oh my god somebody somebody just took it by force over there I feel that now someone is drawing the anointing on this side they were drawing the anointing in just a, oh yeah, just a minute back. But somebody's drawing it on this side. Come on, somebody. We're canceling the spirit of death. This year is going to be a year of life, prosperity, abundance. Every prophetic word that got released from the heavenly shall manifest in Jesus' name. Somebody shout amen. So I see two things. And, and I want to, I'll, I'll, I want to remind you I might be prophesied to, the, to this young man which I don't know and I don't know any of you but remember the prophecy is universal can you say that prophecy is universal la profecía es universal así que cualquier cosa que yo diga en el espíritu que yo profetice usted tiene que tomarlo la fuerza en el espíritu Did you understand that? You did? You didn't? You have to. You got to practice, man. That, that's the language we're going to speak in heaven. Did you know that? <laughs> I just said that in Spanish, just, just in case you didn't know. So if I, if I have an accent, that's why. Um, but prophecy can you say it again prophecy is not personal did you get that I might be prophesying to someone but if somebody else takes it by force hey I might call out someone by name but if somebody else that might not even have the same name takes it by force Come on somebody, come on somebody. I see life and fulfillment. You've been praying. Not only God is going to bring life and health to Elizabeth, but God is going to open a way where there is no way. My God, I'm telling you, people is taking it by force. I see you signing a contract. Oh God. Oh, where are the people that are going to sign contracts in the next upcoming days? Oh. Hey. I see. Listen 
to me, I see a mall, a mall, a shopping center. And I see a store in this shopping center. It's an important mall here. I see it's a big mall. Why, why do you look at him? Are uh, you talk? So, yeah. So, you know what I'm talking about. God says, what seems impossible is nothing for me. God says, you shall sign with no money because the money is coming your way, God says. Oh my God, somebody took it over here. Hey, somebody's taking it over here. Oh yes, I hear in the spirit. 60 days in the as a prophet of God I decree and declare upon the heavenlies in the next 60 days there is a grace coming to God's people you are going to buy with no money there's a grace coming I see it I see it I see that somebody's staking it by force I see real estate. I see offices. I see houses. Come on, somebody. Yes, What you've been praying for for years is about to be released in the spirit. Yes, Jesus. Oh, Katara. Abara Basata. Oh, the glory of God, the glory of God is here. I see angels. They have keys in their hands. Keys, keys. They are about to give keys to some crazy people that are taking it by force tonight. Come on, I dare you to pray in the Holy Ghost. I dare you to pray in the Holy Ghost. Let me hear you pray in the Holy Ghost. Release it, God. Hey, release it, God. Hey, Abadata. Release the keys, release the keys, release the keys. Release the keys, release the keys. Release the keys. I see cars. I see cars. Oh yeah. I see dealership. I see a dealership. Oh katobra. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah. I see beauty. Hey, I see salons. Come on, somebody pray the Holy Ghost. Jesus, 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 Jesus,
to be the best in the things I do. To be what? The best in the things I do. The best in the things you do. And what is this mall I'm seeing in the spirit? I make clothes. I make clothes, so I'll be selling clothes in the mall. One. Look over there. That's your business partner and spiritual father and prophet and apostle. Do you come to this church? Yeah? Yeah, I got to make sure because I said all that. So, okay. As long as you have him on board, aligned, as a business partner, it's not only going to be one, it's going to be many. <laughs> my God, my God. And after tonight, there is an acceleration in the spirit that is coming. God is showing me three years. Three years. You've been in a process of three years. Believing and pushing. But what didn't happen, what couldn't happen in three years, is going to happen in the next 30 days. See, all the way in the back, somebody took it by force. Feel it. Hallelujah. Are you ready for that? Is he your business partner? Because if he, if, he, if he was, then you have to make him. But listen, not by word, by paper. Know what I'm talking about? Because sometimes people get excited. They get excited and, and, and they talk too much. And they promise too much. So when people come to me and they promise a lot, I tell them, listen, what's not on paper doesn't exist. Okay, some, somebody didn't like that, but that's okay. I see the glory of God just flowing. There's a governmental anointing on this house. I just heard that in the spirit. <sighs> Get ready. Get ready. Because the next presidents of this nation are going to come out of this house. I feel like prophesying tonight. I'm going to be prophesying over this nation. I'm going to be prophesying over the course of this nation. Are you ready for that? Strong government anointing. God has called you to be the prophet of this nation. Watch what God is going to do. A prophetic voice within the government. God is going to do amazing things. Some people are going to be jealous, but that's part of the deal. It doesn't matter. That's, that's just part of it. It's okay. Anyways, let me get back to you. My brother, am I free to prophesy yeah. anything? <laughs> Any, all right, good. If he says it, it's okay. 
Oh, yeah. So, you're going to be working with presidents. And vice presidents. And cabinets. Fashion. Come closer. So when I lay my hands on you, this is a prophetic act. That even though I'm not next to you, or I might not be able to physically lay my hands on you, as he is known by God, I don't know his mother. I don't know this place. I've never heard it in my life. I don't even know where it is. Somebody say, but God. But God. Woo! <laughs> but God. So wherever you are, you're going to take it by force tonight. Whatever you need. Oh, Kabo Labo Shemandro Prasta. Father, when I lay my hands in this young man, I see two periods, the next 30 days and the next 60 days. 30 and 60. Oh, God. And it's going to be acceleration. What didn't happen in years is going to happen in days. Are you ready for that? When I, when I lay my hands on him, you're going to shout. That's what I want you to do. Just shout like you're crazy. You shout like you're crazy. Are you ready for that? Yes. Have you ever told me about your mother? Have you ever told me about where you live? However, you how you ever told me about this small thing idea you had? But God knows. So raise your hands. He knows you're right there where you are. If you believe with me, God should be exalted in your life. And when I count to three, you're going to shout like you're crazy. You're going to shout in the spirit. You're going to take it by force. And the Holy Spirit is telling me there is healing that are going to break loose in this home. Bone pain. There's a lot of pain in the body that is about to lose the bodies tonight. People at home are going to be healed just by your shout. Oh, that's, that's a good practice. That's a good practice. Are you ready? Raise your hands. Close your eyes. Angels of God, get ready to be deployed north, south, east, and west. When I lay my hands on this young man, angels minister in every one that have faith and connect prophetically with me. One, two, three, release it. Glory is here. 
the glorious Raise your hands right there where you are. Don't, you don't have to come right there. Raise your hands. You are Henry? Is that your name? I don't want him to come because I don't want you to think that you have to be in front of me to receive your miracle. My God, I, I, I thought you were going to be excited about that. What I'm trying to tell you is Wherever you are, God is going to find you. Wherever you are, God is going to touch you tonight. Hey! There's a history of heart disease in your family. Heart problems. There's a history of heart problems. Especially in the men of your family. Is that right? What? Come. That's what killed my dad. That's what killed your dad. Come on. No, you have. No, 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 no. Let, let, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Let me explain the prophetic to you. God does something. And he does it for two reasons. Number one, because he loves you. Number two, to receive glory of his loved ones. So, when he does something, he expects glory. When you give him glory, he does something greater. So, 
You have to give him more glory and he will do something greater and you will give him a greater glory and it just don't stop it just goes and goes and goes and goes he's a wheel inside a wheel hallelujah so when you hear God does something tonight you better give him glory like you mean it said that's what killed his dad heart problems my god hear me have you ever talked have you ever spoke to me have you ever even been close to me no you've never talked to me in your life no i hear this princess is accursed it's accursed i see a my God, I see a pact that was done many, many years ago in darkness. I see many, many, many past forefathers and I see the men. There are two things that happen in the men of your family. Number one, they have a lot of crisis in marriage. So a lot of them end up divorced. Is that right? Is that true? Yes. See, that's what I'm talking about. You give Jesus. I knew I was going to be home tonight. And the second thing is death. Sudden death. Because they just die out of nowhere. Because that, that's what happens to your dad. I'm going to break that curse in this pillar of water. Warriors, angels, warrior angels just came into this room tonight. They are angels, but they are dressed in warrior garments. They have swords in their hands. And God says in the next few minutes, every curse that was binding your house. He's going to lose your house. You're going to worship him and your sons and your sons' sons and your children's children's children. Listen, that is skipping generations. But they shall skip generations no more. They shall break in Jesus' name to never come back.
because you've you've looked for God you've searched him you've been praying you're interceding you're in a prophetic house so it skipped you but it's looking for your children but it's looking for your children's children but it shall be no more we are breaking it tonight we are breaking it tonight I said we are breaking it tonight Henry, raise your hands right there where you are. As a prophet of God, I break it in the spirit realm. I just heard God says, when you shouted, yeah, in your yeah, there was a prophetic anointing for limitation. Limitations caused by spiritual curse. Did you know that in many cases, limitation is a spiritual curse? Look at where you are. There's no limitation in this house. So you shall not accept limitation as normal. Limitation is not part of your DNA. My God, I feel this in the spirit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break the limitations off. Makata hendebrasta. Every curse is gonna be broken tonight. I, I hear the Spirit say, listen to me. Oh my God. I told my brother, listen, I don't even know what's gonna happen tonight. I know many things are gonna happen tonight. So I'm just being guided by the Spirit as I go. I just heard God say, and because I feel that I'm in my house, in my home, with my brother, I feel free to do this. I hear God say, tell my people to get a limitation breaking seed in their hands right now. A limitation breaking seed in your hands right now. Henry, I'm going to pray and declare over your life in the next minutes. But it's not only for you. Every curse that has been skipping generations is going to be totally broken tonight. In Jesus' name. Listen to me when I count to three. Wherever you have to make it to the platform with that limitation breaking seat. One, two, three. Do it now. Do it now. To worship you, Jesus. To worship you.
the glory is moving, the glory is moving. Let the river flow, let the river flow. Ooh, ooh. you want to be am I right yes God has blessed you but you know that's not it there's always like a steel roof above your head and I see you studying a lot and I see you trying to have your own business God says business your own thing but it's like a struggle and I want to release this word because the same thing I see over this man that I don't know I see over many of you it's always a struggle I see books of law law books of law does this make any sense I'm a lawyer. You're a lawyer. You're a lawyer. Okay. Oh, Baba Shatara. How long you've been a lawyer for? One year. Huh? Okay. You're working for somebody. Yes, I'm. I'm yeah. I'm in a chamber. You're in a chamber. You're working for somebody. So, you study. You graduated. You've worked hard. Raise hands. As a prophet of God, I'm going to lose over your life. Destiny. God is going to break every limitation tonight. Are you ready for the blessing of God? Um, oof, the glory of God is here. So, I want to prophesy this not over not only over you but over everybody that takes it by force some of you were not born to just work for somebody else some of you are working because of do you know this man you know him okay some of you are working just out of need as a prophet of God, I declare you shall not work for needs anymore. Amen. You are going to work for purpose. Amen. My God, I feel it breaking in the spirit. Is there anybody that can put a fight in the spirit tonight? So God is going to do two things in your life. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? He's going to do two things. Do you hear me? Yeah? Okay. Number one. You are going to have your own law firm. Oh, 
Oh, there's a wind, there's a wind, there's a wind. There's a wind, there's a wind, there's a wind of the Spirit. There's a wind of the Spirit. I hear something like bosov, 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 bosov. I hear that. I don't know what that means, but it's bosov. I, I hear the Spirit say that. And the second thing, get him up. He's going to be under the anointing. Just watch him. God is going to, I see the sea, the sea. There's coast here in Ghana, right? I see ships. I see shipments. I see China. I see India. It seems like I'm doing good because so, he's like, hey, oh, the glory is here. My God. The glory is all over this place. But it's a confirmation that you need from God because you've studied too hard to do what you're doing. But then there's this business idea that God has been putting in your heart that has to do with shipments in, in, in China and India and imports and exports. Does that make any sense to you? It does. I, I, I have started importing medicine from India. My God, God is here. From India. I see millions of dollars in this place. I see millions, millions, millions. Oh my God. Oh my God. God is releasing it in the spirit realm. God is releasing it in the spirit realm. Shut up. Hey, Katapa! Hey, I see business that are being born this week, this week, this week. God says, My son, I'm giving you the confirmation. For you shall do two things. You should be in business with exports and imports. I'm gonna open a door, a big door in India. You should also buy with no money. You're going to make money out of other people's money. Somebody took it over here. Are you taking it over there? My God. Wow, my God, the glory of God. You might say millions. I'm not interested in millions. Oh, that's material things. I'm just interested in heaven. Okay, Father, the millions they don't want, give it to us. Because we have too much work to do. Is there anybody here tonight? We got too many people to help. We got too many churches to build. We got too many crusades to preach. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. My God. Kata ora basa. I see you. I see you traveling too. You're going to travel to India. I see you in this business trip. God is going to go with you. And he shall come back. Look at me. Do you come to this church? More or less? No? In Dumasi. I don't know where that is, but it's okay. Okay. But that's your father. Okay. That's what's important. Because you... Are going to be he's gonna be a strong financial pillar to what you're going to be doing oh somebody wants it over there say God use me use me 
God use me. I want to be, I want to be, I want to be. What is your last name? Ousu. That's what I heard in the spirit. And that's going to be the name of your law firm. It's going to be your last name. Oh, God. But I also hear enterprise. That's going to be the other side. God is going to make your name great. Listen. To glorify His name. He don't want to make your name great just because you need to be great. No, he's not interested on that. Jesus must be glorified. And whoever says we don't need resources is more than crazy. <laughs> or too ignorant. Or too religious. But anyways, that's another preaching. I'm in the right house tonight. Stretch your hands forth. So I like this. Henry, are, are you there? Stretch your hands, Henry. We have right and left. And we have everybody else in between. Take the limits off. Jesus. Your heart is going to be healed tonight. Harry, you shall not die of heart attack like your father died. And your children shall not live in poverty as you lived. Shabbataka. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus. When I count to three, you're going to pray in the Holy Ghost like you are crazy. Are you ready? In the name of Jesus, every curse that have been placed upon the families in this house, Father, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I break it tonight. I break every curse of sickness and disease. I break cancer, diabetes, arthritis, heart problems, brain problems, brain damage, every system in the body. I break the curse of limitation of over all of your people. Three, two, one, bring the Holy Ghost. Ba, ba, ba. There it is, 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 there it is. Shabai, Rabba. Clap your hands to Jesus. While God is doing so many things right now as you clap your hands, I, I just see it, I just see it, I just see it. I just, I just see it. Come on, clap your hands, I just see it. Oh, da 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 ba Oh, da ba ma Oh, wow, wow, God is doing so many things. There's a man, his wife's name is something like Fiona, Fiona, Fiona. 
and I hear something, I hear a prayer for children. But she's not even here tonight and God is hoping in her womb. Just clap, just clap your hands for Jesus. Oh, he's doing it. Oh yeah, clap your hands to Jesus. He's doing it. Clap your hands to Jesus. Oh, I, I see it on this side to the glory is here. Wow, there's so much healing happening. There is so much healing happening. Come on. Come on. Put up a fight. Just two more seconds. Come on. shall be known as the prophetic nation of Africa people of God hear me your next presidents are going to fear the Lord Corruption is about to end in this nation. is up tonight but this is only the beginning are you ready for what God is what God has in store for you is too big to describe I'm gonna be releasing prophetic words upon this nation so you better get ready you better write some notes we're going to be defining the next 30 years of this nation. Every satanic covenant that has been made over this land, every blood of goats and human sacrifices, Father, have your way. All this week, have your way. We want to hear you. We want to see you. I just heard resurrection. We're going to see a resurrection. Wow, powerful miracles. 
for everything God has done tonight, which is only the beginning, and for what He has in store tomorrow and the next after and the day after and the day after. Give Him some glory right now. Come on, glorify Him. Jesus, you deserve all the glory for everything you do. You deserve the glory. Hallelujah. And as my brother come, I want you to raise your hands and say, You deserve the glory. feel very blessed tonight how many of you feel blessed tonight well he landed this morning so I know of course jet lag tightness and all of that but what an amazing time in his presence somebody was telling me Obronina oh, oh, well, just as you were speaking in Spanish, Mamia, Mamia. No, I know, but just as he spoke Spanish and lost all of us, retaliation time. Amen. But we love you. Come on now, show him some love. You have no rival. Hey, you have no
in such an atmosphere you don't want the service to even end how, how I wish the service was not ending it was just ministering to people and, and blessing people can I get you lifting up your hands I, I, I feel full you know when you get to a place where you are intoxicated by the spirit of God and you know the Lord did not just show up but he showed off. I mean, I thought you were going to give him even a greater glory. Well, we have to make a sounds. We try to stick to time. We have three minutes. We say we close at 9.30 and surely we close at 9.30. Surely. But as your hands are lifted, let me do the prayer. Oh no, you, you are full. T tonight has been, you are full. What do we say to the great man? Prophet, we love you. I want to tell you, I mean, you are my brother, I love you, you are. You are a great man, but the spirit that you carry, the simplicity with which you carry the spirit of God on your life is just commendable. And this, just as you said, you feel at home, this is your home. Now you don't even need an invitation. Just tell me, um, I'm coming and you're here. Amen. Hallelujah. He spoke about dimensions. He spoke about shiftings. He spoke about chains and limitations being broken. Tying in with what we have heard before. That Jesus is the chain breaker. And so things have been broken. Limitations have been lifted. For he is in the room. And whatever you felt was impossible. The Lord is making it. Are you sure you believe what you just said? Yes. Impossibility is nothing. For with God, things are possible. Yesterday, I, 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 I went to see the first timers. And you know, the prophetic anointing followed me into the space. And I was going to even prophesy to the people there. And I called a young man from the, the, the space. And I started ministering to the young man in that space. I mean, there are a lot of you here who were there. Laid hands on him. And I said, there is a prophetic word for you. And I spoke some few things. But if that young man is here, run to the prophet. Let him lay hands on you right now. There's a young man. I spoke over your life. Is he here? Come, come and just. I prophesied to him. I spoke to him. Where do you go to church? You don't go to church? Where do you go to church? Okay, where is it? Pokwasi ACP. Pokwasi and ACP. They are two different. ACP is here. I'm, I'm Pukwasi. ACP Junction. That's what. Please go and go to Prophet. Let Prophet lay hands on you. Prof. I'm not. I'm, you know, I was praying for this young man. He was sitting in, in the first time his place. And the Lord opened my eyes and I saw him standing in front of a gate. How many of you remember? That was yesterday. And I said, the gate is an old gate. And the gate was not opening. I wasn't going to pray for him. Because what we have experienced today is amazing. Then the Lord told me, that bring him, let him lay hands on him as well. Is there oil in the house? 
You, you want to prophesy to him? Please. My God, I thought this had ended. <laughs> Lift him up. I, when, when you were speaking, exactly at the moment you were saying gates, I was prophesying to you that I see you in the front of gates and doors that are opening. That's what the Spirit does. God is about to surprise you. That's why this man is calling you tonight. God is about to surprise many of you. Listen to me. There's something great that is coming. I see you writing. Listen to this. I see you writing a script. Get ready because God is going to connect you. Oh, this is crazy. Should I say it? This is, no, this is too crazy. How can this happen? Someone say. Some might say, how can this happen? God is going to connect you to Netflix. And I see a movie. You know, God is going to do something here in Ghana that has to do with the best movie productions in Africa. Especially series. Television series. My God! There's a gate of influence. That's the gate he's seeing. But the influence that God is about to place in your hands has to do with his kingdom. You are going to lead people. You know, the Satanist, they do a great job on not selling their product or one might say selling their product without people even noticing. Do you know what I'm talking about? You shall do the same for the kingdom of God. He said he, he edits for Haptel. You, you work at Haptel. And you edit videos. Can you come, come on now? Can somebody give Jesus? Oh my God. I think. You know the problem. The problem now. We were supposed to have ended. Experience on Sunday morning. I'm being tempted. To do a prophetic night. On, you see. You know. You know. He doesn't go anywhere and stay for more than two days. He goes and he's out. But he said, you know, you are my brother. I'm staying till your birthday, which is Sunday. He is here. I'm staying till your birthday. I want to be here for your birthday. Oh my goodness. So you, you work for Haptel. Haptel is a, is, 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 is a, a tech company. It's a tech company. And he edits videos. Opening. Opening. So you're watching that. Open your vampire on there. You, you, you. No, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited. You know, this is beautiful because when somebody crosses into another nation and God uses them in that fashion, it tells you that he is the God of every tongue and tribe. Yes. And he's the God who rules over all. So the gates have been opened. The gates have been opened not only for Kwabna. Not only for Kwabna. Not only for Kwabna Sechi. That, that's your name. It's not only open for Kwabna Sechi, but it's also open for Chris. That's your brother. There is a Chris Sechi. It's an ancient door. It's an old door. It's family, generations. And it's open for Zoya too. It's opening. Zora, that's your sister. But, but, 
she's not supposed to be in this space. She's supposed to be outside Ghana. She's in the US now. Yeah. It's an ancient door and they are all entering. Ancient. Ancient. Ancient door. Oh, Kabna Sechi. Ancient door. Ancient door. The prophet has prayed for you. This gentleman also walked in. You know, he was also there yesterday. He said, you didn't ask me to come, but I'm also here. So, 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 prof. Today the violent is that's taken in by folks. The door is open. Write the prophecy he gave you down. It's going to come to pass. And you're going to be big. Because it was an ancient door. And it's been opened for you. Open it. Prophet, just as you came and you want to take it by, oh, oh, oh. When you stepped in there, I just heard pray for Hobson. That's your name? That's your name? He said he wants to also take it by force. <laughs> oh, but, but you do business. You are a trader. You do business. You do trading. Let Prof pray. Today is his day. Let, let Prof pray. Can I get you lifting up your hands? You see, we are having... It's, it's an experience. That's that's all. Look at somebody and say it's an experience. It's an experience. Can you look for three people? Tell them it is an experience. 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 It's an experience. It's an experience. Oh yes. In this same atmosphere, whatever your heart is yearning for, let there be an angelic deployment Amen. that will bring it to you. Amen. No more limitations. Amen. No more change. Amen. No weapon of the enemy. Amen. Nothing of the devil can stand against you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your, your, your brother Chris, what did he do in Asaman Kesi? What did he do in Asaman Kesi? He was a student in Asaman Kesi. Somebody trained A. Ah. In 2014, 2014, we are in 2024. So in 2014, I saw somebody blow wind behind you around Laboni School. You went to Laboni Senior High. You were... Father, I pray. I... I'm, I'm come share. Oh my goodness. May the heavens remember well, today is just Wednesday night. We have Thursday night. We have Friday night. We have Saturday morning. We have my birthday morning. Sunday morning. Then, maybe, if I speak to my brother and he's up for it, we'll do a prophetic anointing service on Sunday night. Maybe. I'll ask him. But I think that would be amazing as well. Like an anointing service. My brother, you have to think about an anointing service on Sunday night. Just prophetic anointing service. Just, you are here for me. Come. Save yourself. Save yourself. Save yourself. My brother, I'm here for you. And let me confirm that. So uh, we are very much doing an apostolic work right now. We have many churches overseeing many churches. Our, uh, they are daughter churches from our main campus. So I, I'm not flying. I'm not going anywhere on Sundays. Nowhere on Sundays. 
He knows that. I told him that. Listen, I don't go anywhere. I mean, the president can call me on Sunday. I tell him I go, I go later on. But for you, I'll be there, especially if it's your birthday. I'm here for you, man. Let's do it. So it's a done deal. It's a done deal. So if you thought we were ending it on Sunday morning, Yo, you buy me a Sunday night. And I do the area in your name. Get me out in your name. It's not to go now. Get me out in your case. I get to sell my fat on poor. Oh, I'm a good guy. I can see some of you to me. It's about the dinner and the two mummy and the punk one at the open. I'm about the dinner and the two mummy and the punk one at the open. I'm about the dinner and the two mummy and the punk one at the open. I'm about the dinner and the two mummy and the punk one at the open. I'm about the dinner and the two mummy and the punk one at why can't it be to me, me wa pribi de ho? It's a radi na kupane, na na usra di ni na meja. A di ni na sutunswe, usra di ni na meja. Hey yeah, hey yeah, hey yeah, hey yeah. If, 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 if we are not careful, you will extend the service. And we don't want an extension because we are coming tomorrow. But let's celebrate Luigi McLean. You are amazing. Of course, let's celebrate a daughter of the house, Ife Grace. Amazing. You guys are awesome. Pastor Jifa is here. We love you. You know that, right? We do. We do amazing. And our music ministry, what? You guys are awesome. God bless you. Amen. May the Lord our God. lift up your hands. We just want to end the service like this. Because now we know that there is an anointing service on Sunday night. And TM said, Joe Betsy, I'm watching. Send the bass in the two and a half. No, do home and dear home at you. Oh my God, how many of you are happy already? How many of you know this experience is for you? Oh, come on, I want to hear. So how many of you know this experience is for you? Tomorrow when you are coming, bring about 10 people with you. Look at somebody and say, bring about 10 people with you. Bring about 10 people with you. May the Lord our God bless and keep it. Listen. Listen, lift up your hands. Give me the, the, the mantles. These are not just blankets. These are mantles that we have prayed over. My brother, these are mantles we've prayed over. They bear the names of God. And I have prayed over it, but I still want you to release a word over them. When we are done, I'll take you to where they are. And we have them and we want everybody to have one. Those of you that are watching online, maybe you have to find a way... Come and pinkify me a bit. Put the, put the pink on me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we have these mantles. It's for your children. It's for you. When they are going to their boarding houses, they bear the names of God, all the names of God. And we believe that as we have prayed and consecrated them, it will serve and be a conduit through which the power of God flows. That if somebody is sick and they come into contact with it, they will be healed. If the enemy wants to oppress somebody, Oh yes, and they come into contact with this. Every chain will be broken and every oppression will be lifted off. We pray for you that the miracles and testimonies God has given to you will be permanent. May the Lord our God bless and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and bring you peace. As the east is separated from the west, 
so are you separated from any calamity or disaster. Amen. It is well with you Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Listen, the prophet ministers even on Saturday morning, on Sunday morning, because Sunday morning wanted to be a prophetic service. And on Sunday night, we wanted to be an anointing service. It's my birthday. I was supposed to have chilled, but we'll chill in the house of God. So my party is happening right here. Let's share the grace of God together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ Surely, God bless. Look for somebody and tell them what we say. I'm blessed, and so are you. We'll see you tomorrow.